This image represents the structure and function of various parts of a bike. It basically has two wheels made up of spokes to share riders' weight evenly. The front wheel is attached to the handlebar, which makes the wheels easier to turn. The back wheel has gears linked by a chain that increases speed. The chain is connected to pedal that cranks and increase pedaling force. There is a horizontal bar at the top of the frame that divides riders' weight evenly between wheels. In conclusion, this structure looks simple, but it's a very efficient means of transport. The three pie charts compare residential, industrial and agricultural water usage in cities namely, San Diego, California and the rest of the world. In San Diego and California City, the major usage of water was done for residential purpose, while worldwide usage was mainly for agriculture purposes. The agricultural usage of water was very low in two American cities compared to residential usage. In conclusion, the worldwide domestic usage of water was insignificant compared to the two American cities. This image represents how tropical storms are formed. The major contributing factors are high humidity and ocean temperatures of over 26 degrees. In the first stage, water evaporates from the ocean surface and clouds are formed when it comes into contact with cold air. Secondly, a column of low pressure develops and winds form around that column. And when pressure in the central column weakens, the speed of the wind around it increases. In conclusion, it is clear that there are a series of events involved for a tropical storm to develop.
This image represents the appropriate way to wash hands. To start with, wet the hands first and then take an adequate amount of liquid soap. The hands are rubbed against each other with the opposite palm and with fingers interlaced. Then, the thumb is clasped with the opposite palm and fingertips are also rubbed with opposite palm. Finally, wrists are scrubbed and at the end the hands are rinsed with running water to get rid of soap and the foam. In conclusion, to avoid the spread of diseases this procedure of washing hands should be followed every time. This flowchart represents the process of recycling glass. In the beginning, empty bottles are collected and they are purified on a conveyor belt by workers. Then, they are broken into fine pieces using metallic gears. An optoelectronic system is used to get rid of any impurities such as metals. After purifying, the fine particles are collected in a pot which melts the glass by the process of collet melting. After that, they are put in the mold to give them a shape of a bottle again. In conclusion, this process stops unnecessary pollution of the environment. This image represents the structure of a human skeletal muscle. The muscle is attached to the bone by means of a white-colored tendon. The actual muscle is red in color and made up of multiple muscle fibers. The outer layer of a muscle fiber is called epimysium and the layer between fibers is called endomysium. The perimysium wraps a bunch of fiber called fascicle. There are blood vessels between muscle fibers for a blood supply. In conclusion, the complex network of muscle fibers help humans to carry out various tasks and daily activities.
This flowchart represents the biodiesel cycle. In the beginning, the oil crops are harvested that use sunlight for photosynthesis to grow and produce seeds. The seeds are extracted and crude vegetable oil is produced from them. After refining the vegetable oil, alcohol is added to it and the process is called, transesterification. The introduction of alcohol produces biodiesel and glycerol. The glycerol is used in the food and cosmetic industry, while biodiesel is used in vehicles. The CO2 released by vehicles is captured again by oil crops. In conclusion, this looks very environment friendly process to produce renewable fuel. This image represents how the overall stopping distance of a vehicle is calculated. Whenever an obstacle is sighted on the road by a driver, his eyes send a message to the brain, and the brain further sends message to his foot to apply brake of the vehicle. This is called reaction time, which is basically the time taken by a driver to react. In the meanwhile the distance covered by car is called a thinking distance. In conclusion, the overall stopping distance is calculated by adding thinking distance and braking distance. This image represents the process of harvesting rainwater for domestic and agriculture usage. In the beginning, the rainwater is collected on the roof of a house, which is transferred to the two feet deep, reused oil barrels situated in the underground. The rainwater is then allowed to enter the underground aquifers, which is then collected at groundwater reservoir. The water pump then transfers the shallow bore well water to the overhead tank. The pure water in the tank is used for domestic purposes and the raw water collected at underwater sump is used for plants and trees. In conclusion, this seems a very efficient process to recycle water.
The two images represent the rainbow geometry, and the formation process of a rainbow. Basically, when the sun rays enter the rainwater droplets a rainbow is formed. After entering a water drop, they are refracted and the rays travel at different angles to produce various colors, which can be seen by a naked human eye. The rainbow is visible between 40 to 42 degree angles by an observer. In conclusion, the rainbow is made up of seven colors, and the presence of sun during raining is essential for this series of events to occur.